No, and there's a big wild card in this forecast. I've got the outline for you here in just a second. Let's start off with our weather. We do have a handful of pop up showers and storms from daytime heating over the higher terrain. A few lightning strikes outside of Steamboat Springs and then here in the central and southern mountains. Nothing severe. The strongest storms just to the west of uh, the Colorado Springs area in Teller County and then down here in the San Luis Valley around center and in and around the Alamosa area. Definitely some rumbles of thunder tonight or this, this evening, I should say. 86, the official high in Denver. At the airport 87 downtown. We started in the lower 60s, so a little bit above normal for this time of the year. Not anywhere near the records for this date. Still hanging in the 80s in northeastern Colorado, a few 90s in the Arkansas River Valley, 60s and 70s in the high country where some of the cloud cover uh, is found right now. It's a little cooler up there. 96 Grand Junction, you hit 97 earlier, and that did tie your record high for this date back in 2001. Our weather watcher Mike Quaytons, he had a quick shower in Bailey, 65 degrees, 74 from Ed T down there with those thunderstorms near Alamosa. All right here. Tropical Storm Harvey, the latest. It's 40 miles per hour. It's drifting to the southeast. There's its track. It came inland, stopped, turned around. Now it's going back to the southeast. And I kept mentioning the wild card. Well, first let's talk about the big picture. By Friday, this thing should be lifting out of here and pulling away. But there's a long way to go until Friday. And this is where the unknown comes in. Harvey is now drifting back to the southeast. And it is projected to go off the coast, sit over the Gulf of Mexico, Waters down here are well into the 80s. This thing could re-strengthen. This is a huge, huge unknown factor in the future. We've got to watch it closely. Then once it does get its act together, it will come back on shore and go right over Houston. Why is it just sitting there? This is so odd. Well, it's the high pressure sitting here in the west. There's a high pressure off the Atlantic, and both of them keeping this stuck, not allowing it to move, and that is why we are just seeing day after day after day of rain. Back here in Colorado, those scattered pop up storms will come to an end as we go through your overnight. Good to wake up with a little cloud cover on the eastern plains tomorrow morning. If this happens, that will make for a beautiful sunrise. So have those cameras ready as we go through the day tomorrow. It's almost a repeat of today. Pretty much ample sunshine wall to wall, border to border, and then just those pop up showers from the daytime heating, mostly confined to the higher terrain where there is a little bit better moisture in place. Lows tonight, pretty seasonal, pretty much like we saw this morning. We'll be back into the 50s along an east of I-25, 60s over in the Grand Valley, 40s in the high country with a few places hanging near 50 degrees, so a very comfortable night. Your highs tomorrow, now we start to tick back up a little bit. Today we had that cool front come through. Tomorrow we warm back up. We'll be flirting with 90 for many places on the eastern plains. Western slope is back to the 90s for you in Grand Junction and high country. Once again, you should top out in the 70s to lower 80s. Here's Denver's five-day forecast. It is a quiet one. Very evident that we have this big ridge of high pressure overhead. We're going to stay right around that 90 degree mark for the next five days. Overnight lows pretty much right around 60. Other than one of those stray pop up showers, Tom and Kathy, it is a dry stretch. Lots of sunshine for the week ahead. So great for outdoor activities. Um, not good for watering the lawn and there such. You but you know, you know what? It's hard to complain though when you see what's going on down in Texas. We'll you got this. it right. You All got right. it right. Thanks, Chris. Sure. In sports, a dominant.